Kali Linux 2020.3, a new release, a new version that has some pretty cool stuff in it. Two things I want to tell you about right now. The first is my favorite. It's an update to WSL2 and the GUI. They ramped it up. Check it out. So from Windows, I'll launch my Kali Linux, just typing in Kali in the search bar, and here it is. Now, how am I doing that? We're running Kali Linux on Windows 10. Watch this video, I'll show you how. Let's continue. So when I launch Kali, it launches into the command line, right? It's fine, but not ideal. But check this out. I'll type in one word, kex. <laughs> watch. Boom. <laughs> and I'm in Kali. And it's, it's so clean. Check this out. This desktop experience is perfect. I mean, I don't want to say perfect, but it's pretty amazing. So what is this Kex thing? Well, it's actually called WinKex, which stands for the Kali Desktop Experience for Windows. And it's so crazy easy to set up. Once you already have Kali Linux installed, which again, watch my last video to see how to do that. Just skip the GUI part in that video and come straight here. Here's all you'll do. Let me get out of my desktop experience here. I'll hit F8 and then hit Exit Viewer. It's just one command to install it sudo apt, gotta do our upgrade, and then and and, sudo apt install kali-win-kex, and then we'll tag on a dash y there, and that's all we have to do. It'll install, and then you just launch your GUI environment by typing in kex. That's awesome. I'm gonna do it again just for fun. Kex, so cool. How, how cool is that? It's like you're running an app on Windows. That's it. Moving on to feature number two I want to talk about, and that's how we're moving Bash, our born-again shell, to ZSH. Actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. ZSH is ready and installed in version 2020.3, but the official move, the migration, won't be there until 2020.4. But if you have 2020.3, here's all you have to do. Open up your shell, which will default to Bash right now, and to switch from Bash to ZSH, just type in ZSH and... You're doing it. Now, it looks different, doesn't it? Why are we doing this? Why are we switching to ZSH? Now, ZSH does have a few advantages over Bash. Now, I don't have enough coffee to show you all of them, but I will show you a few. Let's do it. First is automatic CD. So if I CD into a directory, let's say the Etsy directory, that's how we do it in Bash. But with ZSH, we don't have to. Just type in the directory, like let's go to home. And we're there. So it's a bit faster. You don't have to type in CD to change directory. Now what's also cool is the command autocomplete. So if I start typing in CD, look at that notice, boom, it already knows what I want to do. So if I just type in the right arrow, it completes the command for me. That's pretty cool. And just one more random cool thing it does. Let's say I try to add a new user, like user add <laughs> Ron Swanson. Ah, not found because I didn't do sudo. But if I do sudo, two exclamation points, it autocompletes and adds that command. And I'm done. That's cool, right? So ZSH, pretty powerful. Now again, you already have ZSH if you installed a fresh version of 2020.3. Now if you upgraded to 2020.3, you'll want to do this real quick. Type in CP or copy etsyscale.zshrc and then a tilde and a forward slash. This will give you the default config that Kali cooked up for you that they want you to have. So do that. And if you did not upgrade and you simply just want to install ZSH, you can do this. sudo apt install. ZSH, and then ZSH-syntax, highlighting, and ZSH-auto-suggestions. I wish it would help me with this. I'll have all these commands below as well. Now again, there's a ton more to ZSH. Like they have a bunch of plugins you can add that make this tool just insane. So if you're a Linux power user or are moving that direction, having ZSH as your shell, it's gonna be a huge asset to you as you're, as you're hacking. Kali Linux release 2020.3. Got some cool stuff. I mentioned a few things here. If you want to check out the rest of it, I got a link below. They did add some cool stuff with Bluetooth and some other little tweaks and enhancements. Well, guys, that's all I got. I'll catch y'all later.